Jack Welch, actually, his predecessor, is out now with an emailed statement saying he wishes Jeff Immelt the very best, but also saying that Flannery, that's the incoming CEO, will bring strong operational focus to GE. Surely the issue at GE has not been management or leadership within the company. It's been a stock price issue. And what is the business, how you take it forward? So how does that set of leadership challenges differ from what Travis Kalanick and Uber are facing? They're very different. I mean, GE is known to be an extraordinarily well-run company. It's well-managed. There's never been issues of um, sexual discrimination, of, of excessive aggressive culture pushing the edge of the law. In fact, GE is exactly the opposite. So GE is a very mature, well-run organization, but it is a company where the CEO faces an extraordinarily difficult problem. He comes in right after 9-11. He then has to face uh, the problems of the 2008 crisis, and he, it's, a, it's a very mature company, so it hasn't been able to sustain the kind of growth and earnings that um, companies like Uber are able to do. As a consequence, we see that the stock price has floundered, that uh, the company has done okay, it just hasn't done great. And so that's what's put Jeff Melt into a difficult situation, and I think that's part of the reason that the, the board and, and even Melt himself probably thought it was time for a change. So, 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 David, to wrap this all up, it looks, and this is just from these two data points, that you almost have to choose between a young, creative, innovative, daring company with the risks that you have with an Uber right now, or an established, well-run company that can't move quickly enough, can't innovate as much. Can you have the best of both worlds? I think you can, but it does require extraordinary leadership. If you think about what GE did under Jack Welch, they in fact were able to grow. They were able to do exciting things. And uh, I mean, Jack was in his mid 40s when he took over the company, so he, he's actually not, he wasn't a very different age than Mr. Kalanick, but he was more mature, he was more seasoned, and he was uh, equally creative. So it's possible, even in a big company like General Electric, that you can do some of the, the wonderful things that we see happening at, at companies like Uber.